What up everybody? How are you guys doing today? And today I have the Zashian V80P deck that I told you guys about. Sorry it's been a few days. A um, little bit of a delay and everything. Um, just had a lot of stuff going on, you know, with Christmas coming up and, uh, you know, my normal day life stuff. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get into a few games. Let's get some stuff posted for you guys. Um, this deck is popping off, as everybody knows. This deck is crazy. Uh, everybody says it's the best deck. It's not the one I play the most. Um, I do think it's fun. Uh, maybe it's the best deck. I'm... Also, by the way, guys, so I will be doing giveaways for all my videos. So all you have to do is to comment your, uh, your Pokemon online username, and I will send you three packs of Vivid Voltage straight to you um, for nothing. Just, just put some random item that you don't care about. Um, you know, make it tradable, and I will, uh, I will send you that. So for this video, I'm doing three Vivid Voltage, um, and all you gotta do is comment below what your name is, and I will get that to you within a day or so. Uh, it could even happen the same day. Um, all depends when I get to it, but it, but I will get to it pretty fast there. So I will be giving a random card and three Vivid Voltage, um, and then. On my next giveaway, uh, I might do something different. I want to switch it up each uh, each time, so I don't want to like give the same thing every single time. Maybe uh, with Christmas coming up, I might be feeling a little giving here and there. Might want to, I don't know, see what I can do for you guys. Uh, we can do Darkness of Blaze. We have all types. We can even do cards as well. So all types of giveaways I got going for you guys. I uh, just got to think of you know what it is to do. If you guys have any cool giveaways that aren't like absolutely ridiculous, leave them in the comments below. That'd be super appreciated. Uh, so we're gonna start this match off here with a Zashian V, which is great, honestly. This guy's cards are super cool. They really are. I don't know what those are. Those are nice sleeves though. So we got a Zamazenta right in front of us. So honestly, all in all, this is looking pretty, pretty good. Um, so we're gonna quick ball for the, we've got six in hand. I'm not worried about it. We'll get rid of the Marnie, grab the ADP. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. Uh, do I wanna do that? All right, so I'm gonna take a risky uh, chance here, which, which is cool that you guys will get to see it. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quick ball this energy away and then I'm gonna hope we get a metal saucer. Uh, I don't have it attached to that actually. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nah, cause then we're gonna be hoping for too many cards. Let's just go for that. Um, the quick ball for the Cherish. Uh, grab the Oranguru. Bench the Oranguru, keep a toughness to Zashin. And there we go. That is how to make use of everything. So the last thing I wanted to do, I didn't want to come across this metal saucer, you know, and not have targets for it since Zashin is up there. Uh, and that kind of would have been the problem. Unfortunately, I, I just didn't want to play in the sense of having to draw so many cards to make one thing work. Uh, so we're going to take this approach here. And I'm thinking we do that. For now, it's pretty much the best we're gonna get. Wow, this is like, well, that's good. That's definitely good that that happened, but it, this hand is horrible. It's just like, boss's orders is such an important card and sometimes you have to dispose of your hand, right? Like you just need certain cards for the game to go right. So you might have to discard your hand. You might get Marnie, um, all types of stuff. You might get reset stamped. Uh, so just seeing three bosses orders in one hand is, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you get Marnie, they go back in. Um, but for the times you have to, you know, clear the field, it, it's really not something you need. Three bosses orders in one hand. Watch us draw the fourth. No, we didn't. I don't even know if the fourth is in the deck. It might actually just be, uh, might not be. See, there's a problem here. We gotta retreat uh, Zashian, unless we just attack with him. <sighs> I 
Yeah, I think that's actually game. He doesn't have any attached to him. Alright, never mind. Let's game. So, he didn't attach anything, uh, which means we were perfectly fine to just one hit knockout there. I have no idea what was going on with that game, why there was one Zamazenta on the bench and I never saw another Pokemon. Um, really no clue there. Uh, so, let's hop back into it. Hopefully we can get a decent game for you guys. Um, you know, maybe one that lasts more than four minutes. But it is cool to see how, how the deck is capable of pulling stuff off that quickly, you know? Um, so we'll choose to go first again, and this time we'll hope for a better game, definitely. That was definitely not what we wanted to see here. But this is definitely a, a pretty decent hand here. We've got the Z, uh, Zashian. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any search cards, so we're not going to be able to get to that ADP right away. Uh, but we can get the Zashian up on the field. Of course, we can get an energy onto him. We have the Dene, so we can always reset hand. Uh, the one thing I'm not liking here is the two Aurora energies in my hand. I only, I think I only play three, and if I get rid of them, it's gonna make me. It's, it's gonna be a real hard time to <sighs> for ADP, and I play a lot of energy switch. So I'm gonna be honest. I just feel better doing that and going Intrepid Sword. I really do. See, quick ball. That's fine, we're good. We're all set. All we need is a switch, an energy switch. That's it, really. Because we'll get the quick ball, we'll grab the ADP next turn. Uh, we'll put the Aurora energy onto the ADP, discard, whatever. Um, we'll use the switch to get the ADP in the active, or we can balloon the Zacian. Oh, he's playing Zacian as well. Huh. <laughs> Maybe we... I could knock that Zasha right now. I think that's actually what we're gonna do. Sounds like a crazy kid move. But we're gonna do it. I think it's better to get that Zasha. He's got he's got two metal energy attached to him already. I'd rather just get that early knockout. Basically put him at stage zero again, you know? Um just kind of leaves us in a predicament where we uh, we have game, you know, well not game game, but pretty much got the game under control. He's really got nothing going. Uh, he's gonna start at base again. Um, and what I did last time is I got way too excited. I forgot to quick ball. I should have gotten the ADP on the bench. I made a lot of mistakes, so. Uh, Good thing, don't get too excited. Don't be like, oh, I can get this knockout onto this, stop their whole play. Yeah, that's great and all, but um, it's also important to still make your plays and let that knockout be the last thing you do because it will be the last thing you do. Um, and that's the truth. The last thing you'll get to do is attack. So unfortunately, these are all base Pokemon, so it still looks like we're probably gonna have to go. Um, oh, wow, that's not good. Wow. Oh, wow. All right, it's not that bad though. I think what we're gonna do is we'll grab the 80. Um, we can LD for the bosses. But... There's nothing on that Zashian, so I'm not really, not concerned about really getting it into the active and getting it out of here. Oh, all right. Well, we're not concerned with boss's orders, so we'll get rid of the Eldegoss because all he's gonna do for us is grab that boss's orders. Uh, we don't, we didn't, we didn't leave a discard. We didn't leave a discard. Wow, 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 wow. 
that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, it was it was kind of important to get the Zashin on the bench, but not really. It would have been better to uh, quick ball for a, the Dene or a Crobat, fill my hand back up. Goes to show, we all make mistakes, you know? We're all just, we're all human beings, so. All of us can make it. I guess I made like two mistakes in this one last time. Last time was a worse mistake because I ended up getting Marnie, so. That in terms was absolutely horrible. But right now we have a pretty golden hand actually, because we can really get anything we need set up. Um, We have two things we can do, right? So if we knock out the Zashin, that's that's two. And then we'll still need two, unless they put another two prizer on the bench. We're stuck at three knockouts. Um, if we get that ADP altered creation, we'll be down to two. Um, so believe it or not, even though it seems like best thing to do is to knock out that Zashin right now, it might not actually be the best thing to do. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is bosses, uh, quick ball for the boss's orders. And we are going to scoop that to Dene that I was talking to you guys about. Um, at this point as well, we could, we could quick ball for something else. Um, it's not really any point. We're going to want to get him in the active. Like we're going to discard anyway, so I guess we'll, yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll quick ball. I don't know. We'll just grab a... Uh, Crobat. We'll grab Crobat. You know what? We'll take it this route first. Draw a few. We, we might not need to go all crazy mode. Nah, we don't need to. We're good. Uh, so we'll just do that. And we'll leave it at that and go all through Creation GX. I think that's fine. We left the Dene, we left Marnie in our hand. We didn't leave our hand huge either, so it's not like they're striking to get a Marnie. Um, sometimes, uh, another thing I do, guys, which is a good, you know, little thing to get into, is say you're playing a bunch of professor researches and Marnies and stuff, and you're no, you know you're not gonna be able to do anything else, but you just wanna like fill up your hand real quick, like before it goes to your opponent's turn. Um, a lot of people will, at that point, they'll say, oh, okay, you know, um, I'll profess the research before I attack. And I mean, I get it. You had three cards in your hand. One was a research, so you want to use it to maximize your hand size before your turn's done. But the the overall like problem with doing something like that, so we're going to allow our ADP to get knocked here. Um, but this way we can ultimate ray. Mm, yeah. There's nothing else I want to do. I just want to ultimate ray. Honestly, that's fine. And then we'll take three and put it onto this Sashian since he has no damage on him. And you want to keep your energies kind of spread too. It's just good to have them both able to attack, you know? Like I can quickly attach to either one of those next turn. So no matter what, I'm not going to really get like robbed on it. And we just need uh, one more knockout now, so. Even if this ADP takes, uh, takes a knockout, we're set. We're gonna be good. Um, but yeah, you know, you profess the research, you fill your hand up, and it's just like, if your opponent has a research and a Marnie in their hand, because of your hand size, they're probably gonna Marnie at that point. So it might just be a good idea to hold off the professor research, uh, you know, till next turn. So this is it. I mean, I can just go all through creation. I don't even. Oh no, I can't do anything with them. Okay. All right, they put a blocker on me. All right, so basically, right now we're just gonna get that switch. We're gonna we're gonna work on trying to get a switch here. Mm. 
That's gonna switch their Pokemon, not ours though. There's gotta be one coming up. There it is. There it is, boys. Brave Blade. That's game. That's how it's done. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just bosses orders, whatever you want. Um, whatever time you want. Get those extra prizes for the knockout. Deck's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed.